Hi, this is Marie Gardner for Envato Tuts Plus, and I'm going to take you through how to turn a portrait photograph into a scary zombie image in Photoshop. And to do this, we're going to use the zombie Photoshop action, which you can download from Envato Elements. You can follow along with the same picture if you want to. This one's from Unsplash, and it's a free to download and use for anything photograph. So if you want to follow along and get the same result, you can do. There are a few things that you need to do to prepare before you run the action. You're going to need to install the action, install a brush and a pattern as well. Now I've pre-installed those, but if you need any help with it, if you search through our tutorials, there are plenty of guides on there. So let's get started. I'm going to hit play on the action and you can see that it stops pretty quickly and it's asking us to paint over the skin area and then hit play again. So I'm going to do that first. You can see I've painted over the beard as well, which technically I know isn't skin, um, but it does take up quite a lot of the face. So if you've got a picture that has a lot of facial hair, then it's probably wise to paint over that as well. You can be quite rough with this because we can tidy it up later, but the neater you are now, the less you'll have to do later. So I'll hit play again. This time it stopped and it wants me to paint the left eye. It doesn't matter whether it's our left or the portrait's left. So hit play it again and it's going to ask me to do the other eye and then hit play it again. The last thing to paint over is the mouth. Now I've deliberately picked an image where the guy's shouting so that we can see some teeth, we can see inside of the mouth and hopefully that's going to add to the effect and make it a little bit more scary. It kind of looks scary painting over as it is now. The action takes a long time to play through, so I'm going to speed it up, but you might need to be a little bit patient when you run it. If you come across any error messages like this, don't panic, because I know that everything's installed properly, I'm using the right version of the action. Sometimes, like anything, actions can be a little bit glitchy, but it won't spoil the overall effect. The actions run through and you can see it already looks pretty good. You could just leave it like that if you wanted to, but let's break it down a little bit more. If I show you how it's broken down, so the great thing about this action is it's really neat. It's in a nice layered folder order, so you've got skin, left eye, right eye, mouth and colour adjustments. We'll leave colour adjustments until last. Um, if I open up skin, you can see skin wounds, old skin texture, small skin texture. It's worked really well with the beard as well, so I'm really pleased about that. You can switch these on and off to see what looks good, what doesn't look good, what you might want more of, what you might want less of, and so on. You'll notice as well that each layer's got a mask, so you can brush on or brush off each effect with a low opacity brush, and you can gradually work in or work out a little bit at a time, whatever looks good. You can do that for each layer, each one's the same, ordered with the effect and then a mask so that you can make local changes. I'll make some changes now and I'll speed it up a little bit. I'm brushing in some detail over the eyes so that you can see the pupils again. I'm also getting rid of some of the veins and the blood spots because they're a little bit much and less is more, as they say. The mouth's pretty good. I'm really pleased with that, so I've not made any changes to that at all. The final thing to look at is the colour adjustments folder. You can see there's a blue tinge with a colour fill layer, there's a curves layer and a brightness and contrast layer. Then you've got a light and shadow layer which really makes a difference. You can see if I hide that a lot more detail comes through. So I'm going to lower the opacity on that because I think it looks a little bit creepier when you can see more of his face coming through. I'm pretty happy with that. It's a cool effect to be able to do. You can do it for Halloween so you could take pictures of friends and do this or maybe a project with the kids as well if they're old enough not to be absolutely terrified by it. So you can see our before and after here and it's a really impressive effect and so quick and simple to do as well. Thanks for watching and look out for more tutorials from all of us at Envato Tuts Plus.